Well, Ethan, back tonight with another beer review. What I've got today is Andy Gator. This is a Hellas Doppelbach from Abita Brewing Company. This is 8% ABV, brewed and canned by Abita Brewing Company, LLC, Abita Springs, Louisiana. Uh, 8%, like I said, this is a 19.2 ounce can, one pint, 3.2 ounces. I've never had a beer from Louisiana before. Um, this was given to me to try. I've heard of a beta brewing company. I've heard of um, Ron Ontario, Louisiana Beer Reviews. I've heard I've heard him talk about a beta beers, a beta brewing company. Um, Hellas Doppelbach. That is a German style beer, from what I understand. It gets an 81 on Beer Advocate, a good score. Uh, I've had it in my fridge a little while now. So let's get into it. I'm just looking up on my phone, some stuff about the beer. Let's go ahead and get a pour. <clears throat> All right, so large, foamy, white head, four-finger head. Ascending bubbles, the appearance is light golden. It almost looks pilsnery. It almost looks like Miller High Life of Coors. Really light for 8%. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, uh, doppel meaning double. This style is a bigger and stronger version of the lower gravity German style Bach beers. So it's basically just a double Bach, a doppel Bach. So yeah, that's what that translates to. So, I'm getting a malty sweetness on the aroma. I'm getting a slight caramel. Really sweet, though. Almost like a caramel, caramel maltiness. I got my blue moon glass right there. If you can see it, a little bit of glare, but... It says, release the beast. Twenty-five IBUs, so it's pretty low. Let's go ahead and try this one. Excuse me. Right up front, I get a sweet maltiness. No real bitterness to speak of. It doesn't taste like an IPA. Um, it almost tastes like a, um, a barley wine. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, Really good beer, though. Really smooth, but really rich. And incredibly light and refreshing for an 8%. <clears throat> like, I can't believe this is 8%. That's crazy to be that hot alcohol and be this smooth and light. Um... Um, I like it. It's a bit heavy in the flavor, almost like a stout, but a light bodied stout. But it's been really hot out, like 95. And generally, I would drink something like Miller High Life or Pabst Blue Ribbon. Um, but this is a nice change of pace, but again, a little, little overwhelming for the heat. And this time of year that it is. I haven't had a lot of beer like this recently. I've been drinking mostly lighter beers. But this is a really good beer. A lot of flavor. A lot of bready, malty sweetness. On the Andy Gator. You got the Gator there. On the cover. The can. 
with the little crown. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to give this one a... Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a 92 out of 100, an A-. minus. It's really good, but... Again, a little a little bigger and bolder than what I've been drinking here recently. That's not a bad thing. But if you were trying to trying to kind of stay hydrated in the heat of the pool or after working, um, this might be a little little much for you. So a little much for me, but I really like it. Maybe when the weather gets cooler, I'll I'll kind of gravitate towards something like this, but for now, in late July, like, yeah, I'm going to stick to my, you know, my Miller High Life for the most part. But again, this is a really good beer. So that's all I can say about that. 92 out of 100 for the <clears throat> Andy Gator Hella Stoppelbach 8%. Cheers and thank you for watching.